All right, so check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We just got into Shashi, deep in Yunnan province, and today we're going for a full-on market tour. This is one of the last remaining T-Horse Road farmer's markets full of Bai and Yi people and local foods. I'm so pumped. Let's go check it out. As you make your way into Yunnan province on the T-Horse Road, you encounter some incredibly beautiful scenery and some food that will blow you away. We came here to Shashi to find the last remaining intact T-Horse Road Farmer's Market and found some amazing street food joints you're not going to want to miss, starting out bright and early at the once per week market every Friday morning. We found five delicious street foods and one amazing buy style local lunch feast you're going to love, including a do-it-yourself custom sticky rice noodle some fried chickpea starch jelly, and a lot more. Let's eat. Hello. This is what? This is Oh. Oh. Can you eat it now? Yes, I can eat it. Is it what? 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 Oh, this is how much? This is 15. 15? Yes. Let's buy one. Awesome. This is like a. It's like a. This is new nai. 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 This is new Oh, look at that. It's like a big, I think it's like a big curdled milk ball. Oh, fang yi dian tang ma. Oh, xie xie ni. It's like a big, I think it's like a big curdled milk ball. Oh, look at that. Wow. All right. Wo chang yi chang. Oh. Wow. Mm. This is actually almost exactly like a mild mozzarella cheese. It has almost no flavor. It's not sour. It just tastes like you're biting into a, a milk almost. That's really nice. Mm. Next up, we took a quick little walk through the morning market and found a breakfast stall serving a variety of different soups and rice with side dishes known as Gai Fan. This was an amazing market to visit. Oh, what do we have here? Ni hao. Ni you have tang? This is tang? This is tang. This is tang. Oh, broad bean soup. Oh, how good? Oh. This is tang. Tang. And there's tang. Tang. Wow, that's great. And this is tang. This is tang. Hai dai ma? Oh, that's great. What do you want to eat? This is your food. This is good. This is good. It's good. It's good. Can I get it? Yes. Okay. Let me do it. Awesome. That's great. Look at this, guys. Looks like we have some nangua pumpkin with pork and fennel greens. Wow, that's great. Oh, that's a fresh one. This is new roma. Yes. Juro. Juro, hi yo. Oh, looks like there's some fresh chilies, green onions. Oh, chili oil, lots of chili in there. And then there's also some eggplant, chili eggplant. Oh, lots of veg here. This is a healthy breakfast. That just looks so healthy. Big broad beans, nice chunks of radish, huge fatty spare ribs. Oh, beautiful. I grabbed some stir fried pork. Oh, lots of green onions. Lots of fresh chilies. Oh yeah, that looks so fantastic. Mmm. There's actually a bit of a sour, spicy kick to that. A bit of pickled greens. And that pork is juicy. Look at those big broad beans, guys. Those are big and plump. Nice clear broth. Let's get a big bite of those. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that is, mm. oh, those broad beans are so nutritious. They put fatty pork chunks in there along with the broad beans. So you do have a really nice and deep, complex 
pork broth. After that nice breakfast, we had a quick little walk around town before making our way to find a ton of pre-lunch street food. This is honestly the coolest old little town. Look at all these classic T-Horse Road style buildings. They're all preserved really well. They're all made of wood and there's just so much to explore here. We're only here for half a day. You could literally spend a week exploring this whole countryside, eating delicious food and chatting with nice people. This is absolutely stunning. You can just picture the history here. Horses, tea, lots of people selling food, produce. This is full. This is saturated with history, guys. Beautiful. Looks like you found some custom noodles. This Oh, okay, we're gonna get some fresh sticky rice noodles. And then you can choose whatever you want here. There is so much stuff here. And then there's also some green onions, cilantro, and chu. Vinegar. It's all here, and you can choose whatever you want with these sticky rice noodles. Thai bang la. Some fresh pea shoots, pea greens. Thai bang la. What's beautiful about this is you can just choose whatever you want. All of these ingredients you can put into your bowl of sticky rice noodles. So it's a nice light broth. Sticky rice noodle. Oh, they're like falling apart. And then some wando jian. This is Wow, look at that. Look at this, guys. So we have a beautiful bowl of Aris's sticky rice noodles, specialty in Yunnan, with some wando jian pea shoots, pea greens, and then we can choose anything we want here. That is incredible. Okay, first up, first up, most important, we're gonna hit chili oil. Beautiful. Just pour a little bit of that. Oh, get a little more oil. Get a little more oil in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Then we're gonna get a little bit of vinegar and soy sauce mix with ginger and garlic and chili. That is gonna be powerful. Oh yeah. Little bit of peanut. Awesome. Awesome. You do. Oh, one. Dofang. That is beautiful. I've never seen this make your own noodles in China before. You can just put whatever you want. Put some soybeans, some garlic. Oh, yeah, that's gonna start the day. And some hua jiao yo, just to make it have a touch of numb to top it off. Give it a little bit of numbing, mouth numbing kick. And of course, wow. of course, onion and cilantro mix. Beautiful, that is heaven. Oh. And we're gonna put a little pickled radish just to finish the deal. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, can you see your bing? We have some special bing here. We have meigui, which is rose filling in a little pastry cake. And then we have dosha, which is red bean and a yue bing. This one, there's thousands of different types. This one, she said, has mint, brown sugar, sesame. But we're gonna go right in for these beautiful custom noodles. Oh, look at those. Mix that up 
Wow, that is... Wow, that flavor is just gonna be... Oh, look at all that chili oil. Look at all that chili paste. Peanuts, oh, I can smell the peanuts. I can smell the walnut. Oh, my mouth is watering here. This is just awesome. There's greens, there's chili, there's vinegar, there's soy sauce. Awesome. That actually looks super thick. Beautiful, dripping, sticky rice noodles. Mmm. Oh. Wow. There is a lot going on in there. Oh. It's sour from the vinegar. It's super garlicky. I put a ton of garlic in there. The sticky rice noodles are very chewy. They're actually very chewy. That is just a powerful bomb. The pork sauce. The pork mixed ground pork gravy also packs a huge, enjoyable fragrance with the cilantro, the onion, the peanut. Oh, it's all in there, guys. After enjoying the beautiful rose and walnut stuffed pastries and the red bean pastries as well, we continued through the market and found a couple more delicious street foods before going for a huge buy style lunch feast packed with fresh Yunnan mushrooms. So we just found a bunch of huajuan. There's tons of different flavors here. There's dofuru, fermented tofu with chili. There is fentiao rice noodles with pork. There's green onion and pork. There's regular manto, and it's all here. I think I'm gonna order one up. I think I'm gonna go for the dofuru fermented tofu flavor. What can I try? A dofuru, ma. A dofuru, can I? Ma. Thai bang la. Nice. Thank you. Oh, fresh huajuan. Oh, it's steaming hot. We just got a steaming hot huajuan. This is like a steamed flour puff filled with fermented, wow, look at that. Filled with fermented tofu chili sauce. Oh, you can really smell that stenchy, potent fermented tofu flavor. And we are deep in the market here. This is just amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh wow. Wow, that is definitely super fluffy, super salty, fermented, almost cheesy. Wow, it almost has a, a, a strong salty cheese flavor. Oh, oh that is a, that'll wake you right up. That is a potent quadran. Right before our lunch feast, there was one more super interesting street food that you're gonna wanna try the minute you see it colorful starch jelly and fried red heart potato. So she said this is a red heart potato and this is a liangfen, some type of starch jelly that she's frying here. So unique. Oh, beautiful. This is the shashi the Ah. Oh, la jiao ka yi. Oh, La Jiao, she's making it into like a salad. Beautiful. This is what? This is what? Hua Sheng Jiang. Oh, peanut, peanut butter in there. This is what it looks like. It's good. Wow. Thank you. This is how much it is. 5 dollars. Oh, sure, quite a guinea. Chicka sure, Liang Fen. Chicka sure, Shama Fen. Chito Liang Fen. Oh, so it's a type of starch jelly. So it's like a green starch jelly that she's frying here, and there is some red hearted potatoes. That's the direct translation. Mmm. 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 Chicka Thai, how true. Mmm. Wow. That is amazing. That is so delicious. It tastes like a spicy peanut butter. Except it's it's not sweet at all. It's like a spicy peanut butter over a starch jelly. The starch jelly almost has no flavor. It's just maybe slightly earthy. I want to try one of these red-hearted potatoes. I think that 
That's what she's cutting right here. Oh, Hongxing Turoma. That is beautiful. Look at that. Look at the purple color there. And then she fries it and it gets all brown and crispy. Awesome. Mm. Oh, wow. It tastes exactly like a potato with a crispy, crispy outside and a spicy peanut butter outside. This cottage cheese matzo cheese ball that we had this morning. We're actually going to try it different now. She's offered to fry it. She's saying it's much better than eating it plain. You take this matzo ball. I'm not sure if that's actually what it is, but that's exactly what it tastes like. And you fry it. That is just beautiful. Look at that. And she's frying it up in slices. And that oil actually has a bit of flavor. Wow. Wow, yeah, look at that. You, I'm gonna mix it up myself. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna mix it in there myself. Oh. <laughs> Fry it up. I think she's gonna put that same flavor on. Oh, wow. That milk is getting a crispy edge to it. It's like a cottage cheese mozzarella. You can smell, you can really smell that milky, cheesy odor. Oh. Oh, I understand. Oh, Oh, and she's put it right on top of the starch jelly, you see. This is the starch jelly that, that you can eat fried. And she's putting tang right on top. Oh yeah, by white sugar. Nice. That's beautiful. Oh, that's a lot of sugar. Wow. That's a lot of sugar. Oh, ying ying yijing gola. Gola. We just got that fried matzo cheese. It's like a milky matzo cheese and she just loaded it with white sugar. Tons of white sugar crystals on there. And you can smell that milky odor. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh wow. When it's fried with the white sugar on it, you get that crispy outer layer and you get that ultra sweet, ultra abundant sugar on there that really brings it up a sweetness level. After all that beautiful fried goodness, we made our way into a little courtyard restaurant to try out the true fresh flavors of Yunai and had a beautiful meal packed with fresh veg and mushrooms and meat doesn't get any better. This is just such an awesome market, guys. So much action, so much stuff going on. Produce, meat, snacks to try. And now we're gonna make our way for a big lunch. Let's check it out. All right, we're going in. We're going into a little courtyard restaurant. Let's see what we can get to eat. Wow, look at this, guys. Awesome. Look at this. There is salted fatty pork. This is a specialty in Yunnan, salted pork. And we're gonna order that up. And then look at all the ingredients here you can choose from. Tons of different fresh produce and veg, all from Yunnan, all locally grown here. Mushrooms, look at all the mushrooms here. Tons of different fresh Yunnan mushrooms. But look over here, I just spotted this one. This is the specialty in Yunnan, the Songrong. These are very expensive. And we're just at the tail end of the season right now, so we're gonna have to order that up and get a bunch of food. Tai hao la. Woman kui yi zhuo yi shan ma? Yeah. Tai hao la. Beautiful. Look at this massive Yunnan feast we've got here, guys. There are so many specialties here. Look at this. This is what I've been wanting to try for so long. This is the Songrong mushroom the matsutake mushroom grown here in Yunnan and it is right at the end of the season. This is a 
Matsutake spare rib soup. That looks absolutely nutritious and hearty. And then look over here, we have a specialty Yunnan salted pork. You can see it hanging up over there. It's fried in fresh bell peppers and a type of garlic bolts. Oh, that just looks, oh, that just looks fantastic. And then look over here. These are red pine mushrooms, fried in green onions and bell peppers. Red pine mushrooms, there's a bit of dried chilies in there as well. And then over here, we have some greens and a specialty lemongrass fried spare ribs. That just looks incredible. And then this over here is called Xiaomi Thai. I didn't know what that was, but look at all that purple juice that comes out when it's cooked. I looked it up and it's called Amanthus. Oh yeah. We're just gonna try out the soup first thing because that just looks so delicious. And this is the number one thing. These mushrooms are exported across Asia and are very expensive. Huh? Oh, this is Oh. Oh, wow. Such a flavorful mushroom. The umami flavor in that broth is incredible. Wow. Oh, it brings it so much flavor. We are gonna try some of this Yunnan salted pork hanging up over there. Let's try some of that. Oh, beautiful. Look at that, it's fried in bell peppers and garlic bolts and, oh, looks amazing. Mmm, mmm. That has the most rich ham flavor. You can tell the salt brine they use is rich and strong. It actually almost has like a, a pastrami flavor. It is so strong. With those bell peppers, those garlic bolts, that is the most intense, strong ham you'll ever have. This is why Yunnan is one of the best places to eat in China. Food so fresh, you'll never wanna leave. People so friendly and warm, and some of the most beautiful scenery in the world. Just coming to a morning market like this and you can discover it all. Thank you so much for watching these Tea Horse Road street food videos. We had a great time here in Shashi. It is absolutely beautiful. Awesome day trip from Dali and awesome market every Friday. I would love to know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. And please click that little notification button and subscribe button so you can get all of these street food tours. Thanks so much for watching guys.